Welcome to another episode of CPPR Global High Tea with me, Ghazi Hassan, Senior Research Associate Center for Strategic Studies. Today, I will discuss U.S.-Iran tensions post General Soleimani's assassination, its implications for the region. I will also talk about the nature of the conflict, if it escalates into war, and how it will look like. I will also highlight its impact on India's strategic interests and energy security. As head of elite Iranian Revolutionary Guard forces, General Soleimani was not only Iran's most powerful military commander, but also an architect of country's military influence in the Middle East. He was seen as one of the most powerful figures in Iran, second only to country's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. Keeping a low profile for years, he strengthened in Iran's ties with Hezbollah in Lebanon, Syria's government and Shiite militia groups in Iraq. General Soleimani was killed in a U.S. airstrike at Baghdad airport in Iraq on last Friday. It was reported that rockets landed near the air cargo terminal, killing and injuring several people, including top Iraqi military commander Abu Mahdi al-Mandis, an advisor to General Soleimani. Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei vowed to avenge General Soleimani's death. The assassination of Iraq's top military general has created war hysteria with possible retaliation from Iran on U.S. military installations in the region. Since Iran possesses considerable strength and influence over the countries such as Iraq, Yemen, Syria, it could possibly use its proxies to carry out attacks on the American military infrastructure and its allies in the region. The relationship between U.S. and Iran have always been under stress since 1979 Iranian Islamic Revolution and with the recent labeling of Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps as terrorist organization, it has soared up the tensions. The assassination of Qasem Soleimani in Iraq at President Donald Trump's order will create long-term political and security challenges for the United States in the region where it has stationed stationed its more than 60,000 troops and personnel. The dynamics are dangerous and possibility of US and Iran getting embroiled into yet another cycle of conflict in the region is very high. This would have terrible consequences for the countries like Iraq, Syria and the region at large. The last thing the Middle East needs is war, especially as the last war against ISIS is yet to be definitely over. Starting a war may be easiest of the decisions, but the region cannot afford and tolerate another conflict. Too much is at stake here. US allies and United Nations officials have consistently called for de-escalation of tensions and avoidance of war, emphasizing de-escalation in the wake of Soleimani's killing. The European Union countries have refused to join the United States' maximum pressure campaign as a consequence of Iran's provocative acts, although UK, France, Germany has urged Iran to negotiate a new deal that includes limits on Iran's missile development. Iran's military strategy will be to keep tensions at a low boil and avoid a direct confrontation with the United States. The possibility of war still looms large. Even if the neither side wants to fight, miscalculation, missed signals and logic of escalation could conspire to turn even a minor clash into a full-blown war with the devastating effects for Iran, United States and the Middle East. The Islamic Republic of Iran can use its proxies in Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya, Syria and Yemen to attack the United States and its partners. It has an arsenal of ballistic missiles that can target U.S. bases in Bahrain, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia and UAE. Its mines and the land-based anti-ship missiles can wreak havoc in the Strait of Hormuz, drive up the global oil prices. Iran has the capacity to shut down a significant portion of Saudi oil production with cyber attacks and with its paramilitary, it can attack U.S. targets around the globe. On the contrary, United States may decide to send aircraft carriers, battleships and fighters to the region to defend itself and its allies. Iran's leader might infer that Washington is gearing up for a major attack and may decide to protect its missiles and mines from a preemptive US strikes by moving out of the storage and dispersing them. The United States in turn might interrupt such a defensive measure by Iran as a preparation for a dramatic escalation and can respond by carrying out very preemptive strikes that Iran would seek to avoid. Israel might get drawn into the conflict through clashes with Hezbollah, the Shiite militant group and political party in Lebanon. 
Iran has tremendous influence over Hezbollah and can potentially push the group to attack Israel using its arsenal of 130,000 rockets in an attempt to raise the cost of the conflict for the United States and one of its closest allies. Such an attack can likely overwhelm Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system, leaving Israelis with no choice but to invade Hezbollah's stronghold in southern Lebanon and southern Syria. What began as US-Iranian clash, it can engulf the entire region, imposing not only the devastating losses on Iran's leadership and people, but serious cost in blood and treasure for the United States, Israel, Lebanon, Gulf states and other regional players. Most likely, all parties understand these dangers, not least the Iranian government for which a war with the United States would be practically catastrophic. And for this reason, both sides will continue to try avoid an all-out war. But sometimes even wars that are nobody wants still happen. The Trump administration and the Islamic Republic should tread much more carefully lest they send their countries down a dangerous and costly spiral that will quickly spin out of control. Finally, in case the conflict turned into a full-blown war, it is not only having a political, economic and security consequences for the region but will also have a major impact on India's strategic interests and energy security. The war can compromise India's efforts to develop Chabhar Port in Iran and its outreach to the landlocked Central Asian countries. India should urge both parties to stand down and try to resolve the issue with utmost diligence. History has taught us that many armed confrontations begin by inadvertence and not by design and this war could be one of them. This was all from this segment of Global High Tea video series. Follow the hashtag Global High Tea for all the updates and also to see our previous videos. If you like this video, hit like, comment and share. Thank you.